Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mario here. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this like abstract line uh, header. So, to get started, we're gonna take our marquee tool, make a new layer, Control Shift N, and then just drag out a little rectangle, and then Alt and Delete to fill it with your foreground, and then just Control T, hold Shift, and then go to the corner. So you get this rotate tool and then you're going to spin it 45 degrees and then what you're going to do is you're going to place it in the corner wherever you want really and then hold alt and drag and then just place three of these so i'm going to move it move all three of these over just a bit and then what you're going to do next is you're going to do it again alt and drag then you control T to transform it and then just make it smaller and then zoom in just so it doesn't look like we're using the same thing every time you're gonna just alt click and drag it out and then just align it with the top to make it look like it's a longer version and then you're just gonna want to place three more of these or wherever you want I'm gonna do it there um, and then we're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna make it smaller. Oops. We're gonna make it smaller. And then zoom in just so it's easier to navigate. And then just connect them again. And then merge them. I'm gonna do it one more time. And then that should be fine. And then you just place these around wherever you want. I'm gonna put one more in the middle. And then actually, I think I'm gonna grab one of like the medium sized ones and put it here. Yeah, that's, that's good. All right, next, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your brush tool. I have this dark purple. I will provide the hex code on the screen right now. You're gonna make a new layer under all the shape layers. And then with your brush, hold caps lock. And then you have like this little, um, crosshair thing and then you just click in the corner you get like a little purple splotch and I'm gonna just transform and scale it up until it covers quite a bit of the area and then just hit the check mark okay and then fill to 50% and then what we're gonna do is make a new layer on the top of our shape layers go back to the same blue or whatever color that you used um, and then just take your brush tool. Oh my god, what is with my brush tool? Okay, we're good. So we're gonna make three different layers, each for different the, the different sizes of our shapes. So for the really small ones, I'm gonna take the brush down super small. I'm gonna click on the top, hold shift, and then click on the bottom. That just gives a straight kind of stroke of the brush. And you just do it for every single one of these, like so. And then when you're done with that, make a new layer on top of that. And then for the medium shape, we're gonna do the same thing, just scale the brush up a bit more. And then just go around, clicking, holding shift. And then another layer, scale it up for the bigger ones. And then just go across like this. When that's done, you're gonna click on the top and then click on the bottom layer, and then go to linear dodge add, and then I believe I had it around 50%. Yeah, that looks good. And then the brushes look too like precise, so we're gonna go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'm gonna put it up to 50. No, we're gonna, yeah, yeah we'll leave it at 50. And then go to the, the other layer, and then Gaussian blur again, then the next one, Gaussian blur again. And then it just spreads out the glow a little better. And then what we're gonna do, I think actually we're gonna bring this back up to maybe 75. No, it'll be 65, that looks fine. All right, you're gonna wanna group all your layers except the background. Hit C on the keyboard to crop, click, and then click the check mark. And then duplicate your group, control T, then right click it, flip horizontal, and then flip vertical. 
and then you see it like covers the whole background so it looks pretty cool and then well, now that I think about it the purple in the background is still a little too punchy so let's move it back down to 50 you could also mess with your um, glow layers at the top we bring these down to I'm gonna say 40 we had it at 50 all right that looks fine and then we're gonna do our text do text and then make a new layer and then I'm gonna put here all right we're gonna center it then we're gonna align them we're gonna group them center them again all right now the layer style just copy from one to the next I'm gonna do linear put the angle at 95 Oops, I didn't tilt the text. All right, we're gonna tilt it five degrees, center it again. All right, and then we can go text, gradient overlay, linear, then put the angle to 95. And then you wanna take your black, put it at 49%, take your white, and then put it at 50%. And then I'm gonna drag this white to 25. Actually, no, we'll do 15, just so we have like a nice fall off. Then drag the black down to about 85. That looks good. And then just lower the opacity. 25% is fine. Then I do inner shadow. This just gives it like a little, sort of like how bevel and emboss would do it, but it's just like a highlight around the, the top. I'm going to put it at 3 for the distance. I'm gonna leave the I'm not overlay in white and at 100% opacity just because I think it looks nice. And then it's up to you if you want to use a satin. Personally, I don't really like using this. Some people can find a good way to make it look like it's a metallic texture, but I just can't figure it out, so I don't really bother with it. You could use a drop shadow if you want. Um, these are my settings, I think. For this, I'm gonna do 135 for the angle and keep the distance at 25 and the size at 35 but the opacity I'm going to drop it to 15 that should be fine and then you're going to right click on your text layer copy the layer style and then right click on your other text layer and then paste it so then it looks a little better and there you go that's how you make this uh, abstract line header if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching. Mm.